where does this start? Where, yeah. what, how do you decide you want to start a bread company? Yeah, well, you know what? It started in 2020, you know, with the George Floyd situation. You know, for me, it was my personal protest. So uh, my wife sent me to the grocery store. I had a list. First thing that was on the list just happened to be bread. So uh, I was extremely intentional on, you know, supporting and buying only African-American owned products. Uh, so as I walked into the bread aisle, literally, I was in this aisle for about 45 minutes and there was no African-American owned sliced bread companies. And then, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. So I left the store. I didn't purchase anything. You know, I called my best friend. I was like, yo, we got to do something about this. It was more so of a, a call to action. And that that sparked the whole initiative. Like, yo, we have to do this because the fact that we can't feed ourselves in our own communities, you know, is a real problem that we have not yet really addressed, you know, because between us and Master P and a handful of others, mm -hmm. you know, it's not a lot of people that's actually going into this industry. And the crazy part about it, it's a big industry. Like bread alone, you're talking about $333 billion a year that's, uh, you know, that's in this bread industry that we are not tapping into, you know. And um, from there, you know, the Black Bread Co. was born and uh, yeah, so we got started. So he calls you. What, what's this conversation <laughs> yeah. like? Because I can imagine calling Shadi and saying like, bro, we got to start a bread company. He's going to be like, all right, whatever. Right, but how's this really going to work? We know nothing about bread. We've never right. been in the nothing. food industry. At the time, you're not even, you're doing something completely different. Right. What's this phone call like? Well, honestly, it was it was quick, bro. So the main thing is, for me, it, it's founded on our friendship, our brotherhood. I know my brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know how he thinks. I know how he moves. I know how he operates, right? Yeah. So when he called me, for me, it was quick. It was already a done deal. He called me, he was excited. And I know when he has an idea, one, it is, it's a grand idea. It's something big. It's something, in my opinion, that not the average person or the average mind would think of. So mm -hmm. that's one. It always comes with high level ideas. And then two, I know, I mean, it was a crazy idea. I knew he was going to do it. Yeah. And you're not going to leave me out if you're going to go do one of the greatest things I've ever heard of. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then instantly my mind went to, okay, how can I add value to this thought, to this idea? He's bringing me something. At the at the time was it, it was intangible like we didn't have anything we didn't know anything right, mm -hmm. right. but at the same time I look at myself and I take pride in being able to one make something out of nothing but I I can see things and I I take pride in executing and getting them done and making them tangible so those skills lined up in terms of us you know being friends and us being you know our backgrounds in different industries but it was a done deal from yeah. jump just because of who, who who brought it to me to be honest so all right so what so this is 2019. 2020. 2020? Yeah. So what's the steps? All right. So you decide that you want to have a, a bread company yeah. because you go to the grocery store, you can't find any bread. Yeah. Um, but what happens after that? So for uh, an entire year, so from that time until uh, February, we literally did all the research. You know, we hired attorneys. You know, we wanted to do a search and see was there af actually a uh, African-American owned sliced bread company. You know, we didn't want to you know say anything that wasn't true, you know, and also we was doing the research on what it takes to have a bread company, right? And so one thing that we knew for sure is we ain't know how to bake no bread, right? <laughs> we, especially like no mass producing bread. So first thing that we secured was, you know, a chef. You know, we had to find someone that's able to, you know, put a recipe together, make some bread and a, a high quality loaf of bread. So we knew what we wanted. And I think that's the key is to really map out and know what you want what type of quality that you're looking for. You know, we've been eating bread our entire lives. So we know we we don't want a bread that's going to tear, you know, that's going to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, cheap and flimsy. And at the same time, because it's the first African-American on sliced bread, we want the highest quality, period. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, you know, unfortunately, you know, we get hit with the black people don't know how to do business, right? right. You know, we get those stigmas and things of that nature. So we had to make sure that we represent well. And um, so after we got the chef, you know, we had to find uh, a, a manufacturer or what we call a co-packer, right? That can take this uh, product, formulate it, and then start producing it. And then they can produ produce it at a, you know, high, you know, quantity, things of that nature. And so um, in that, as you imagine, it's a pandemic. No mm -hmm. one's taking face-to-face -face meetings, yeah. right. you know, so it took us a long time to find a coal packer. We finally found one out in Wisconsin that was like, yeah, just come on down. You know, we'd love to hear you guys out. And so like during this meeting, 
the guy being in the industry for over 40 years, he said, listen, I just got to tell you this. It's like, I never had a meeting with no black people. You know, he's like, I never sat across the table to, with no, no black people talking about no bread. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you guys gonna do this, he said, to be honest with you, y'all gonna have a lot of people shook in this industry because y'all gonna go from here to here <laughs> and, you know, matter in no time, you know, because what, what we found out is the industry, they know we're gonna take, you know, our portion, but they don't know where it's gonna end and where it's gonna start, mm -hmm. you know? So um, when he said that, you know, we just kind of like looked across the table at each other. It's like, you know, we, we know it's gonna be Dress pretty on. big. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, after that, we, we did a couple of sample runs. You know, uh, once we had samples, because Jamel always said, man, we can't be no bread company without no bread, right? <laughs> 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 like like that, that wouldn't work out. Um, and then um, once we, we had the bread, we tasted the bread, it was right. We, uh, we all approved it, we all signed off on it. And uh, now that we have the bread, now it was in, in Jamel ballpark as far as marketing it, you know, getting it out here. And of course we did the whole, uh, you know, Jamel talked more about that, like designing the packages, you know, getting the bag design, you know, getting the packaging because that's huge, right? A lot of us don't know how to go get packaging for different products. You know, so that's something that we uh, we try to. Uh, how, how, how long was that process though? As, as you know, I mean, because the chef is making the, the recipes. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you went through hundreds, if not maybe thousands of times. Thousands. Or, thousands of recipes of thousands. And y'all are eating the bread. Yo, Absolutely. man. Dude. So 2020 was. I'm in the gym now, going crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. So talk about that, like finding the chef and then finding the right recipe that says, "All right, this is authentic. This is what we're going with." Yeah. So uh, once again, so when we was had the chef, you know, of course he he come out with you know fifteen to twenty different types of bread, and we eat it, and each one has something different, right? So one we have is sweet, but it it, it falls apart; it's too mm -hmm. soft. Another one we have, you know, it's it's firm, but it's nasty, you know. Another one we have, uh, it's it's good, it's firm, it's sweet, but the crust look crazy, you know what I'm saying? So like it was just all these different types of. Of bread. Then at the same time, we wanted something that we can be consistent with as well, right? Because we don't want to put one product out and then it's just inconsistent. Right. So um, after eating this bread, you know, uh, we did gain a lot of weight. At least I did. You know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, after after doing all that, we finally like it was like down to the last one. It was at this point, it was really like, bro, we might have to find another chef. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because like we, it's not. He not, he not getting it. It didn't taste good? Yeah, it just didn't taste good, man. And uh, we knew we couldn't present that to nobody. Mm -hmm. And then finally, man, he was like, hey, here's a batch. Uh, so we went in, ate the bread, and we was like, hold on. Dude, this, this bread might be it. And then we was like, man, let's make a sandwich with it. And I actually took that bread home, uh, and I made a, a sandwich for my wife and kids. You know, I didn't tell them it was our bread. You know, I just wanted to get like an honest opinion on how they felt about it. And man, they smashed that bread. My wife was like, man, there's some good bread right here. She was like, y'all bread need to taste like this. And that's when I knew, I was like, yup, that's our bread Got right one. there. So what, what kind of bread is it? So it's a it's a premium white bread because and uh, it's a honey wheat bread. So one thing we didn't want to do off the back is niche ourselves. You know, it's okay to go into a niche afterwards, but we want to go and compete with the, you know what I'm saying, the, the Sara Lee's the top, and, yeah. and, and the top bread brands out here, right? So we wanted to go head to head with them you know, so we wanted to make sure, like, if they had a, a honey wheat, we wanted a honey wheat. And a premium white, that's a premium white. And those are two highest selling uh, bread types in the industry.